We didn't do anything with the shimmer. Those vocals was already bright. I turned that thickness up 7 dB. Came down a boca, I linked up with Chrissy. Some in the beat, cause he know I don't miss. I'm good with making hits. We gon' fuck him up with this. I swear the shit gon' get lit. Today, I got OMB Peasy type vocals. And I really think y'all gonna like this one. Cause about two weeks ago, I did receive a session with Spinner Benz and OMB Peasy on the track. So y'all be on the lookout for Spinner Benz and OMB Peasy if they ever do drop the track. So I took the information that I knew and how I was able to achieve an OMB Peasy track. And I somewhat applied it to this track now i didn't purposely do it but the way his vocals was set and the way his tone was i felt like it was only right to kind of go in that direction and still give him his own sound so y'all be sure to smash that like button subscribe to my youtube if y'all haven't already i can't stress that enough we're almost at a thousand and if y'all haven't followed me on instagram because that's where i'm most active that being said let's go ahead and get into the mix all right so first off i just want to shout out the artist trey benji y'all be sure to go ahead and follow him on instagram so that being said man we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna start off with what we had to work with that's actually some solid vocals and he actually got some really good background vocals and i'm going to show you how we made those shine and just kind of cut through and give it its own flavor you know what i'm saying um so first you know we're going to start off with what i did with the two track instrumental which if i don't know this is what i do every single time went ahead and grabbed the nls bus this time i went up 1.5 db every track is different guys i grabbed the key from auto key shout out to engineers that can actually find the key with their ears i can't do it shout out to y'all and then i went ahead and i put out filter free now filter free i've been using this a little bit more now instead of using the one knob filter i went ahead and just used the filter free pretty much i could just automate whatever little knobs that i want to automate in different sections it gives me more control all i have to do activate it boom give me some cool filter effects on a two track instrumental now for the auto tune that i used on this specific track now i didn't use this for omb pz's um vocals on his track but i've been using metatune a lot more if you guys do follow my instagram you guys did see that i went ahead and i put a metatune versus waves tune waves tune i think one again my opinion metatune is 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 where i'm at with it right now i like it i'm sticking with it so yeah i pretty much just went ahead slapped on metatune got it on g minor we went ahead and we put the speed at 10 and then i went ahead and made sure that we had the the note stabilizer pretty much short and that was pretty much all i did with this plugin so now i'm just gonna go ahead and play what we have now already kind of getting that that sound right again if you guys notice it's really just how his voice is distinct you know i don't think he purposely tried to sound like ombpz it's just if you're trying to get a specific sound you somewhat have to have that voice for it also you know i dropped a, i dropped a how to sound like the weekend everyone can say i can't sound like the weekend i'll be completely honest if i could i'll do i'd rap on this mic and do it and show you every little rapper i i can't sound like them make sure y'all sound like these rappers or or somewhat you know you have that that flavor to it so bam i went ahead and i grabbed my precision channel strip something i've been rocking with lately i actually got this like with the uad legacy plug-in bundle that i got with my apollo twin x i like it i've been i've been rocking with it we went ahead and grabbed some frequencies at 360 we went down by like 0.4 db and then i went ahead and i did take this knob made it a little bit more wider you should say went around 12.7k not that up about 6.7 pretty much just made that brighter that's what we did we made the brightness go up and then around the mid frequencies around 650 i didn't do anything there but i did go ahead and just take this knob tilt it down just a little bit more and then like for the low frequencies pretty much just at 395 we went up 1.3 db nothing crazy and we made it like a bell honestly guys i know like in my previous videos i said how i don't like just straight knobs i like to i like simple stuff i've been challenging myself more to go with my ears and then just for the last we put a high pass filter at 120 you know something simple something real standard nothing crazy and then we just got like a not really really fast not slow attack just in the middle attack we do have a fast release and we just got the ratio at eight threshold pretty much down and then we just amplified the eq i just say i think it just takes the whole eq section that we did here and i up by 6.5 i felt like it just gave it some more oomph into the vocal so we did that <laughs> Pull up with a switch. 
All right, so next I went with the V comp. This was one of the first compressors I used to always use when I first started engineering seriously three years ago. Like, I don't know why I like the V comp so much. I don't really see a lot of people talk about it to this day. I, I went ahead and I was like, I'm about to pull out this V comp. Like I'm about to go crazy with it. So just got the input like at 13 dB, not really pushing it too, too heavy. Cause this compressor is very strong, like very thick. It's a very thick rich compressor but we do have the output like at 1.5 db we got analog off i would push that even way harder than what it's already pushing now we do have the compression on and we got the ratio at 6.1 pretty much at its highest setting and um we're able to get it at we got the fast attack we have a slow release we have the ds turned off i didn't really mess with anything down here we got the release just on auto when it comes to the ratio so pretty much just with the v comp y'all check this out I'm good with making hits, we gon' fuck them up with this. I swear this shit gon' get lit like a sissy. Pay the ball, I dribble crossover, pull up with a switch. Alright, so I went ahead and I went with the Shep 73. Honestly, not doing anything with this. The only thing that's activated is this preamp at its lowest setting. And I just sat that on top of his vocals. I don't think y'all ever are not going to see me not have the virtual channel strip on any of my tracks, like at all. So I went ahead just to turn on this virtual channel, one around 7.60 dB. We went ahead and we got this revival, right? We didn't do anything with the shit. Shimmer. those vocals was already bright i turned that thickness up 7 db i really don't do that with track went ahead and i did it with this one i grabbed the present i took the drive negative 1 db and we took the intensity up by like four percent again guys this is i don't know like you know this is uh, it's probably free game for real for real i've been messing with the slate digital deesser lately so i just slapped the deesser from slate digital got the frequency around 6,000 to 7,000, pretty much and we got the range around 7 db literally they're holding your hand with this because they're saying normal this is the normal range of where you would want to put your range you know what i'm saying so yeah with that let's check out what we got for his vocals came down a boca i linked up with chrissy some in the beat cause you know i don't miss i'm good with making hits we gon' fuck them up with this i swear this shit gon' get lit like a sissy pay the ball i dribble crossover pull up with a switch is this free game like comment below is this free game that we're giving out like i want to know now i went ahead and i put out this c4 when i say his vocals were bright now we're not going so much on the brightness side the game i took everything down and even it out to 3 db i wanted everything to be even i didn't touch anything else down here leveled everything out i went ahead and i grabbed the cla 2a pretty much just got the gain at 35 and the peak reduction at like 47 very light compression when you see this meter it's very light compression it's nothing crazy and then we went ahead and we got this analog at 60 hertz so with that this is what we have so far came down a boca i linked up with chrissy some in the beat because you know i don't miss i'm good with making hits we gonna fuck them up with this i swear this shit gonna get lit like a sissy pay the ball i dribble crossover pull with a switch. One of my previous reels on my Instagram, I actually collabed with a four times platinum audio engineer on a track and he actually explains why he compresses multiple times with vocals. Yeah, I go check out that video. Then I went ahead and I grabbed another virtual mix rack. Um, I grabbed another de -esser. Now with this, up about 7,000 again, we still around the normal. So pretty much this whole track, I only use the SSL de -esser. I'm gonna be completely honest. All you need is a Slate Digital package and you can make hits. Slate Digital, y'all should sign me after this. So, I went ahead and I grabbed this FGA board. Honestly, everything else here is the same. I did not touch this top half. I just took this bottom half. Oops, it was at 250. Thank God I remember what I did to this track. And we knocked out about one dB from 250. That's all we did with the FGA. And then I went ahead and I grabbed this trimmer plug-in and we knocked his vocals down. I'm gonna say probably about like two dB. We could probably knock it down more, but I wanted his vocals to be very upfront. So they're very upfront. <laughs> And then bam, we went ahead and grabbed this suit just to soothe out some of them harsh frequencies that we have. Pretty much just the bright frequencies from around 2K all the way up to about 9K. And that's pretty much it. This is what we have so far. Came down a boca, I linked up with Chrissy. Some in the beat, cause you know I don't miss. I'm good with making hits, we gon' fuck them up with this. I swear this shit gon' get lit like a sissy. Pay the ball, I dribble crossover, pull up with a switch. So we could honestly just stop this video, but we not done yet. We're gonna keep it going. So per usual, I just parallel compressed the usual CLA 76. I added a doubler. So for the doubler, I just went with the basic doubler preset. I didn't touch anything from that. But what I did do 
was I took this ozone, I took this ozone imager and I enhanced pretty much the highs and made it more, more wide. So I focused more like on that 6K frequency all the way down to like the 20K and just made it wide. Now I did go ahead and I took the bandwidth and made the lower frequencies a little bit more wider also. So I just took the, the bottom and the, the top half and I just widened them out a little bit. So this is what we got so far. Came down a boca, I linked up with Chris. He's summoned it because he know I don't miss. I'm good with making hits. We gon' fuck him up with this. I swear the shit gon' get lit like a sissy. Pat a ball, I dribble cross over, pull up with a switch. Now this is probably what y'all been waiting for and it's fairly simple. I went with the LX480 Essentials. I went with their Sparkle Hall preset. I did alter just a few knobs. I made the rim. I made the time a little bit higher and I turned up this low frequencies. And other than that, you know, we kept everything else the same, you know, it's on haul. And for the delay, you know, I just went with the Valhalla delay, one fourth note per usual. This is when we really sauced up the delays and made them sound very unique. I went ahead and grabbed this juice box that I just did a video to on my Instagram. Y'all go check that out. Um, Pretty much, I just amplified this filter effect up by 61%, around 2.2 hertz. Went ahead and spread those vocals a little bit more and then gave it some more space. And then pretty much, I slapped the same reverb that I put on the vocals to the delay and i just turned the mix down to about 45 percent and with that that's how you can get you some omb peasy type vocals came down a boca i linked up with chris he's summoning it because he know i don't miss i'm good with making hits we gonna fuck him up with this i swear the shit gonna get lit like a sissy pack. again this is how you can sound like omb peasy and get your vocal sound in industry or you can go ahead and just book me at mixbyl.com and we can work again y'all be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and comment below and let me know if this helped you or what type of videos do you want to see next came down a boca i linked up with chris he's summoning it because he know i don't miss i'm good with making hits we gon' fuck him up with this i swear the shit gon' get lit 